When it comes to the real reason for the war in Iraq, we have pretty much heard it all now, haven't we? First it was the WMD, and then it was about the war on terror, and removing Saddam Hussein, and about spreading democracy, but it was never, ever, ever about the oil. Now, Bill Moyers on PBS reports, quote, one by one, these concocted rationales went up in smoke, fire, and ashes, and now the bottom line turns out to be the bottom line. It is about oil, unquote. More than five years after the start of the war, we have lost 4,100 troops plus, tens of thousands wounded, disfigured for the rest of their lives, hundreds of thousands of Iraqis are dead, millions have been displaced, the U.S. taxpayer is stuck with a bill that could top trillions of dollars. And what about the oil? Well, it hit another record high today, $143 a barrel, gasoline prices up almost 38% from a year ago. The New York Times reports the Bush administration played a key role in drawing up no-bid contracts between the Iraqi government and five major Western oil companies to develop some of the largest fields in Iraq. Gee, there's a surprise. The administration of making sure that Western companies get this access in the country that holds the third largest oil reserves in the world. For example, Russian companies with experience in Iraq well, they were hoping for contracts, too. They're still waiting. The White House denies steering the Iraqis toward any decisions on all of this. A State Department official says its advice was, quote, not binding, unquote. Yeah, okay, well, that ought to take care of it. Here's the question. Do you believe the Iraq war was about the oil all along? Go to CNN.com slash Cafferty file. You can post a comment on my blog. Bill Moyers did a little piece on PBS suggesting that all of those reasons that we were told for the uh, war in Iraq were uh, bogus and that from the get-go it was really all about the oil. That's the question. Do you think that the war was about the oil all along? Andrew in Arnold, Missouri writes, the war was always about the oil. When it became obvious Saddam Hussein wasn't going to share his oil with us, we took him out. Chris says, are you serious? There's no doubt the main reason for the Iraq war was because of oil. If you look at U.S. history, we don't go to war unless somebody's done something to us or we have something to gain. We went into Iraq solely for the oil. If we truly cared about human rights, we'd be getting rid of the governments and imprisoning the people who are torturing and killing folks in Africa. Doris writes from Ojai, California. Hot there this time of year. No, according to those who work closely with Bush, uh, from day one, he wanted to get Saddam for putting a hit out on his father. Mike in Baltimore says the obvious answer is yes, based on the fact we have two heroes of big oil calling the shots from the White House. Michael in Lorraine, Ohio says whether the war was about oil or WMD makes no difference now. What the American people are mad about is the lack of accountability. We were told, in part, that Iraq had WMD and was a threat to our interests. Even though no WMD were found, nobody was held accountable for the mistakes, the lies. And thanks to those people, we have 4,000-plus dead, 30,000 wounded, not to mention the extreme loss of civilians in Iraq. Ryan says, I served in the Marine Corps for two tours in Iraq. Even though the missions were always under the heading of Operation Iraqi Freedom, OIF, we would always call it Operation Iraqi Liberation, OIL. Does that answer your question? And Joe in Ohio writes, if it was, we're losing. If you didn't see your email here, you can go to my blog at cnn.com slash Cafferty File and look for yours there, along with hundreds of others.